excuse me. Don't work for free. And I can't joust with broken armor. Your problem, not mine. Well, just as well. They told me I was daft for even asking. Tax speed hotline. Hey, buddy, watch this. Crazy. I just have to remember to do that. It's not been a common complaint that the overlay is not working, though. Surprised to hear that. Is that like new today or has it been a thing for a while? Have you guys noticed? Control Hunter is amazing. A resizing pouch may not be amazing. But Control Hunter is amazing. Armor Vendor is really the, I think, the enabler. If this actually were to become a reasonable, like, tier 4 deck, it's Armor Vendor that makes it possible. Just that little bit of extra life gain available to Hunters. Really nice. Could probably try all that now. Like, Rogue gains more life gain. Like... When everybody has a little bit more life gain. By the way, she's just such a positive looking character. Like, man, that smile is is just that's an enormously happy smile. Okay. We need more smiley characters. This is a pretty smiley deck, actually. She's really happy. Harrison's pretty happy. This guy doesn't look so happy. This guy looks pretty neutral. This place is scary. That guy looks scared. Nine lives looks happy. <laughs> we all know that's the measure of a real deck, how happy it looks. <laughs> Armor Vendor in uh, Hunter versus Warrior is definitely a weird feeling. I'm gonna need this Harrison to clutch this game because I don't have any cards right now. You know, honestly, we've had such empty hands that I, I almost wonder if uh, a voracious reader wouldn't be an acceptable option. It's, uh, you don't normally want to run Voracious Reader in, like, control decks, but our hands have been pretty darn empty. Play a weapon. Play a, play an Ankar right now. Better yet, play a Bulwark right now. Play that Bulwark. Play that Bulwark. Play that Bulwark. I don't know. 2029. <laughs> hold me to it. <laughs> you gotta hold me to it. 2029. Okay. She's pretty cool looking. Slam. This jewel's not very good yet. Uh, we need a Zixor or a teacher spot. Sword Eater. Do we take the one durability here? Is it worth? Uh, it's another death rattle. I actually don't really want. Sadly. Uh... Do we take the wonder ability here? Could get a cobalt sticky finger off this. It's stupendously unlikely, but you never know. I think I think we can do better, right? I think we can do better. It's big warrior. I don't think it's big warrior with a frightened flunky. Uh, it would be a disastrous roll off of your big warrior rolls. Commencement into frightened flunky would be very sad. I think it's um just like a control Cthune warrior. I don't know for sure what it is, but. Oh, interesting. Uh, maybe? Yeah, it could be Highlander Warrior. That makes sense to me. Yeah. I think I play the Harrison here, guys. I uh, don't love it, but... It is what it is. Alright. He's going to play a Bulwark now, and I'm going to be just agonizingly sad. <laughs> um i don't actually want to feed spells in case you're thinking that maybe i mean this wouldn't be a bad one potentially but i only have one beast or two beasts left so be kind of iffy i don't actually want his him feeding spells either sadly in other words i don't want to like stall out my good cards cthulhu's and jewels and all these other things he gave me a slam though which at least cycles itself so slam is absolutely fine to have in the deck i think speak of the devil as they say. Man, big hits here. Really? Really? Let's protect the sharpshooter. He's pretty valuable. 
one less body on board, but still pretty valuable. I mean, is this ever going to matter? If we get him, like, to zero, and then he relies on a bunch... Or, you know, zero. If we get him, like, one or two health, and then he relies on a bunch of armor gain, uh, how nuts would this be? This would be so cool. This hits Zixor. I need to play it soon, or I will... Uh, potentially risk stalling it, because that's the only beast remaining. I don't actually really want to play it yet, because I... Wouldn't mind hero powering every turn moving forward because we actually have gotten a pretty significant chunk of damage. That said, this is fine still. Bigger the better here. Yeah, this is great. We can play that next turn. Just want value. And it's really good on the jewel too. Um, Are you aware of the bug that Xanash doesn't reduce Insight's mana cost? Um... No, I mean, I gosh, we we played quite a bit of Xanash. I don't remember encountering that. I mean, it's possible that we never had an insight in hand, or uh, but regardless, I am unaware of said said uh, thing. I did not know that. Anubisath. is that something I just play instead and try to greed? If I play the scrapyard first, this doesn't hit much. It's a little off curve, unfortunately, but. Why not, man? Let's do it. Let's let's greed some stats here. It's just kind of waste some mana, but suddenly my Zixor is ginormous. My Scrapyard's even more ginormous. <laughs> Plate Breaker remains ginormous. Bum, 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 bum. They call me Spencer. Oh my god, dude! Four months. Thank you, Spencer. That's really nice, man. Zixor Sharpshooter is a good clear, but it's loading a lot of mana. I guess I could develop an explosive trap. Four, six, eight. Man, that's not floating too much mana. Let's uh, do it this way then. Oh my god, another one of those. I really do not want any more of those, man. So, oh, 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 no, that backfired. I don't want secrets in my deck, especially not an explosive trap against warrior, a, a control warrior. Not Eyelater, by the way, there's two slams. God, that sucks. Didn't want to see that. Party Cthulhu, I don't mind. That's a pretty good tool. I mean, maybe not that good against warrior again, though, now that I say it. Minefield, I don't really want either. Ugh, these stupid guys have really ruined my jewel. They've ruined um, my deck. Hitting that twice is brutal, honestly. Really brutal. So here, he might leave this up. He's like, oh, hey, I got 11 armor. I don't really need to deal with this. I'll just play a minion, and then I get to play Breaker. Smack! Maybe he's had a Dr. Boom scheme in hand since turn one. <laughs> is it time for the play Breaker? I think so, man. I think we put him to 10. Oh. I think we put him to... 13, right? 11 even. 13 armor's a lot, and this is an 8-8. This is a big push. It's not lethal, or like a nice surprise lethal, but I don't actually know if this is, oh, this is probably not right. What am I really doing here? Oh, I don't like that. I should have just mark shot. What am I? Well, I didn't have mana to mark shot, but I should have done anything. There's no reason to play that freezing trap. What is that? Oh my god, stop! Oh god, oh god! What is this crazy deck, dude? It's like a Yasharaj. I This is a crazy deck, dude. He didn't proc the freezing, weirdly. I can't keep up here, right? Any, <laughs> you know what would be amazing is crushing walls right now. <laughs> wow, that would be really good. Uh, I guess I have to build stats, but these probably suck. Oh, we got one good roll. One good roll. Okay. This could maybe bail me out with a lethal of some sort. If he, like, forgets to armor, takes some explosive trap damage, and I, like, find a kill command with the Zixor up or something. Some possibilities here. He's low. I mean, he's really low. Not that many cards in hand. 
Not that many cards in deck, frankly. We might be able to grind this to fatigue, honestly. I mean, the Yashiraj turn looks like it's going to be crazy. He's going to get to Cthulhu faster, so fatigue seems like a tough bet. But uh, if we can keep enough stats up, you know, Cthulhu may not represent like a lethal anyway. That's a great mark shot target now. Oh, Brawl. Okay. Oh, uh, man. I hope I can win the Brawl. Really, dude? Really, bro? Really, really? Armor up, dude. Oh, I can't do it and armor. That's four mana. Uh, live wire lance armor. Okay. This just whiffs. Duel of Nazoth again, but I don't clear that if I do it. Let's let's clear this and just card tot. Card tot's still a pretty nasty boy. Tracking is great for Zixor. Maybe even a resizing pouch. I have a brawl in my deck now, which is kind of cool. I hate losing a hero power, but the minions obviously more development for pressure on a future turn. Okay. His Cthulhu is just so much closer is the real risk at the moment. I Again, though, I might just be able to stat up enough that it doesn't connect for lethal, depending on what else he has. I have so many extra cards from the stupid idiot. If I hadn't had those three drops, man, like we'd be in a way better spot for the... Um, Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try to find Zixor first, and then I think I'm gonna resizing pouch. I sort of want to save the jewel until I think his Cthulhu is ready. He needs to play. Wait, what does he play? He's played body, heart, and maw, so he only needs to play eye. Zixor, please. This is really good. Because if he focuses on removing this Zixor, I might get my jewel to stick. And I also get to push damage, which is cool. Okay. Definitely not getting Cthulhu done first. There's no question about that. This is Brawl number two. Cutting class first. Okay. Is this explosive trap ever going to matter? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Barricade only? Really? Is that enough? Trade, trade, hit for... Wait, why is he attacking? Doesn't that just always... He's looking for a lackey out, but doesn't that just always give me lethal now? Wait, why would he attack? He just gave me three extra damage. I guess maybe it didn't matter. I have eight, 10, 11 anyway. Oh yeah, it didn't matter. He could have, but he could have gone to 12 actually. Yeah, he could have gone to 12 and I have a, oh, I have 13. Oh, so it didn't matter. It didn't matter yet. He was dead either way. Woo, baby. We can't win via like a pressure game. We can't really win via a stall game because they have too much. Uh, they're just mid game dominance with Librams and, and Urels and Librams of Hope and stuff. It's just going to be a terrible matchup for us. Cartuts just don't stack up against like Librams of Hope. Right. One, one's a 6 5 that heals for 6. One's an 8 8 Divine Shield that heals for 8. And they cost the same usually. So sometimes Cartuts more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> of course sometimes the other way around but rarely um could play for like a crazy tempo push with like porcupines but it seems really unlikely so here's the uh aldor I cannot wait to read these. this is hand of a doll it's 100 guaranteed so don't even question it he will hand of a doll this They've had it 22 straight times against me this month. I don't know why they'd miss it this time. <laughs> it's, oh, 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 mixing things up. Wow, that's unheard of. I can't believe that just happened, guys. That's that's actually unheard of. All right, I, I better, I hope I can kill this stupid thing. Hit it, hit it once at least. Okay, come on, come on, kill it again. Come on, come on. Nice. Good job, buddy. You did it, buddy. I have a lot of porcupines in my jewel, though, which sucks. I don't really want that many. They call that opening the queen's gambit. <laughs> She's the queen. Already so far behind. <laughs> this is going to be tough, guys. I just don't know what cards we have that beat Paladin ever. We played a lot of mages earlier today, and now we're getting a lot more Paladins, it feels like. 
We've played a ton of mage today, though. Shocking amount of mage. I don't feel like we normally play that much mage. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Unleash the hounds. Multi shot. Uh, I guess hounds, but. A lot of like one health stuff kind of hanging around, but this is probably going to deal with most of that, so. People want the biscuits. Yeah, my mage video was very unpopular. I was kind of surprised. I I almost think um some of the more um unattuned Hearthstone fans out there, of which there are a lot on my YouTube lately, like people who just aren't as into the game anymore. I kind of think they thought the AFK artwork in Mana Biscuit was like old or something. They didn't realize it was like a new card almost. It's gotten like half as many views as every other video from this set maybe the pink background scared people away i don't know i'm trying to theorize here what could have doomed that individual video i think the afk art people didn't realize it was new and they just saw that and they were like oh that's an old video because it looks familiar i need bgh no i can't get bgh i need bgh um not a bgh but a solid card i guess okay i didn't uh oh, i just wanted you to hit it once man i don't really care about the face damage that much um okay so i'm taking 12 i have six showing oh god oh god. <laughs> um, oh, actually, Bola Shot's interesting. Hero power puts that to five, six, five. I think I can technically stay alive here. Time passes. Am I better off with a Jewel, though? I only have the one card touch, so it's really risky. I'm going to try to greet it and hope that there's, like, no weapon. I'm, I'm basically uh, no buff either. No additional Libra, no weapon. Basically nothing extra. <laughs> um actually i could play the explosive trap to bait him also um yeah i can't do that and that and this though i'm gonna play the explosive trap to bait him yeah i like that like we're isolating this into a freezing trap right which would be nuts if it was a freezing trap <laughs> but he doesn't know that he's gonna have to take a gamble here or maybe just hero power and take a turn right like just be like oh wait a minute i'm not messing with this i ain't messing with this oh the bait worked all right um all right that hits this hits consecration owns me uh but that's fine. I'd be dead to concentration. Well, no, concentration actually is not lethal anymore. The bait. Can the bait buy the win? Oh, don't ha don't get another leap from oh, please God. Oh no, no. Okay. Is this gonna have to hit? Oh my God. Can Jewel get me there? Zixor doesn't do anything. I really hate that I have to play the Jewel. <laughs> when I can't kill that URL. That sucks. Uh, okay, two card tots. Let's go. Your power does absolutely nothing because URL immediately heals it. Oh my God. Can I actually bail this out somehow magically? I don't think so, but I'm not dead anymore, I don't think. Not usually anyway. Maybe some miracle, I guess, but. Oh my God, is he putting me in explosive trap range on this stuff? Like. Oh no, not consecration. Um Oh, first day of school was actually a pretty weak result at least, I guess. Um Okay. Oh, Zixor can't kill the fatty now. Zixor can kill the fatty. Although I can't play Jewel in that case. The Tutu might kill the fatty too. Wing burrito. Um Thanks for the five gifted subs, dude. Oh my god, I can actually kill the 12 one. 
Develop another jewel. Maybe snipe some. I, I'm not confident enough to like run it in here and try to snipe that. No way. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Just taking the guarantee. Um, let's see. Couple Libram, sure. What did it hit? I'm just curious. It doesn't really. Nah. Oh, it hit face. Did both of those hit face just now? That's kind of wild. Maybe carry on's technically a little better. Uh, the problem here is this is my last big board reload. So if he has another reload development, like any kind of big threat, you know. Oh, really? Using that there instead of trading it in? That feels like a mistake, doesn't it? Why not trade that in on the small guys? Oh. That was the big reload we were talking about. That's game. I can't keep up with all the leave rooms. GG. That and the other leave room of hope probably had to be at the bottom of the deck for me to win this. Um, I think they maybe still miss out on some leave rooms. I didn't count or wasn't really paying attention here, but. Definitely feels like they missed out on a ton of face damage. Could have like traded in the small stuff with leave rooms on. Traded in the small stuff with Librams on. Cycle the Librams on every trade. Maybe my dudes didn't actually have enough attack, though. Never mind. That may not have worked. Could have only buffed each of these twice or something. Yeah, I think that's game. I That's just too much stuff now. Scrapyard Colossus. I mean, I can't beat the Librams. There's no point. There's just no point. This is a fun game, though. We almost got this one against Bellin. Pretty cool. Um, all right. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, Wing Bruno, thanks again, dude. Big time five get the tubs. Fun game for it. I think I'll actually put this loss on YouTube. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> it's a good loss. Like, it was a almost recovery. Oh, man. So cool. Leodrin is just completely insane. Giving these, like, second waves and stuff. I don't think there's any combination of cards in my deck that ever wins this, right? They're taking a long time to win. I might just concede this. There's nothing off Renlings. I mean, I guess there's some tiny world where they put every Librum on a single minion and it gets freezing trapped or something. That would be a just disastrously bad play for that to happen. I can't really win in Fatigue. Um... Am I even close on Cthulhu pieces? Where are my Cthulhu's at? I don't think I've seen a single Cthulhu piece. This is I gotta concede. This is taking forever. Well, actually, now they'll win next turn. Um, okay, hold up. I'm actually. Uh, <laughs> this is the exact scenario I talked about, where if they if they freezing trap the wrong thing, maybe <laughs> it's just you know they'd have to make the worst play in history, but it's possible. It's possible they get greedy and just attack with the 10-11 on autopilot, and then I can recover. Okay, GG. Uh, good try. I still don't think I could, to be honest, because I don't think I could kill the 8-8. Okay. Show about in a little bit. No, that's fine. All right. Um... Oh, there we go. Where was this last game? That's the juice right there. Come on. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. I um. I wonder if the Cthulhu is really sensible here, guys, without having more card draw. I mean, we're literally never gonna complete a Cthulhu. But I. But here's the thing, and I'll, I'll make this argument. I guess I still do maintain. What's a one mana card that's good here? Uh, Demon Companion. I, I actually, I think I'm gonna do this. Hungry Crab ain't it? Oh boy, I regret it already. Terrible for my jewel of Dissolve. Ah, <laughs> oh, shoot. I regret it. I just wanted some. I wanted a contesting minion, right? I wanted this to be anything that was to attack, and we didn't get a single one. Should have taken the crab, though, honestly, because this disrupts my jewel, which I don't want. This is a bad. This is the worst pick, actually. <laughs> this is the worst. I was like, oh, I'm a hunter. Take that. But this is the worst one. Anyway, like I was saying, I think... Oh, no, we actually have a ton of... Uh, ton of death rattles, too. This is going to get ruined by this stupid leper gnome. I got us these. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. 
Oh, sorry guys, I'm dead. I couldn't mute in time. It's a lot harder to mute these days. I need to get my uh, stream button thing set back up. Um, the, the Cthulhu spells are good removal or good uh, control tools for Hunter that we don't otherwise have access to. So I think they improve the deck anyway. Regardless of uh, whether we get Cthulhu, they just give us more meat and more good, like the taunt's nice and big. The uh, AOE is something we don't otherwise have. Even I, Cthulhu, can clear stuff. That's we're probably going to play next turn, so about to see that in action. All right, let's hit minions here, see what we can figure out. It's probably, um, it might even be like snake and pack. I don't know what it is. Could be a uh, pressure plate, so we got to be careful of that. Um, let's go here and hope that I Cthulhu clears. It usually does, but not always. Come on, nice. So that feels like, um, Oh, I guess we haven't tested face of that one yet, so that could be an explosive trap, yeah. I was thinking it, it might be a pressure blade, but it wasn't, so must be explosive at this stage. So Cartet's here feeling good. Oh, Dragon Bane, bro, you suck. Why is Dragon Bane so strong? It's so good. It's just so good. How did they make Dragon Bane so good, man? I'm never gonna kill this. Not ever. Uh, let Dex out of the basement. He needs to hydrate. Oh yeah, he's got a hose down there. We we run a hose. <laughs> Dexter, <laughs> Dexter loves my hose. <laughs> he's always hydrating on my hose. Uh... <laughs> he loves the hose. Uh, I think, I, you know, there's some logic to playing this on curve with like an explosive or a freezing, but um, I want the Jewel and Azoth to be as impactful as possible. And I think the card sets are, are probably much, much better because I need that life gain. I got to kill this though. This won't die. This won't die. It won't die. It's done so much damage. Oh, it's dealt so much damage. Uh, Jewel is actually guaranteed to be Leper double uh, card set, right? This guy's like kind of dying. I might be able to flip this and just kill this dude, honestly. Um, he's down to 13. Oh my God, that's even more healing. Oh, of course I, oh my God, I totally forgot I have extra card sets because they, they are dying themselves extra. Oh, yes! The three cards on dream. The leopard home didn't ruin anything. Thank God. Yeah, nice removal tools. Develop some tempo here eventually. Tempo, he says. All right, man. Yeah, last stream went so bad. This stream has gone just swimmingly. I mean, last stream didn't go bad from a stream standpoint. It was actually amazing. We had a level five hype train and it was a lot of fun, but from a winning standpoint, let me specify. Uh, this stream has been awesome for both. It's because you're here, Death Star. I knew it. Okay. narcissism incoming hey we're all a little narcissistic not all narcissism is bad there are actually some uh narcissism characteristics that are positive like believing in yourself and those sorts of things uh, so don't fret maybe it's good narcissism <laughs> uh i don't know what we're playing against i like making this more affordable later like multiple teachers pets sure this might be a game I'm able to hold the armor vendor. Uh, we, we found some success playing a little more aggro against Warrior last game. Maybe this is another example where we be a hunter first and be a control hunter second and, and wait till the armor vendor feels necessary to play. Thinking about using the anti-death portal card against Warriors and Paladins. 
I feel like warriors might be able to clear it too easily. Paladins kind of make sense. I mean, I guess they have some weapons that could deal with it, but it is five health, which is a bit more awkward of a breakpoint. So maybe. Shield Slam doesn't even finish it. That's nice. Still gets to eat. Eat, Mr. Pet. Eat. Pergath Prime is a pain, though. I'd love to find a jewel in Azoth off this mark shot. Ooh, that would be spicy stuff. Wrench Caliber. Okay, I can track around Wrench Calibers. Is he going to double upgrade this right now? Oh, okay, no. Sword ports are clear. Uh, probably should have attacked first, technically, there. He would have had some armor left over. But, uh, no biggie. Wouldn't have mattered. It would have got chipped away. So, actually, really not relevant. Okay, yeah, let's go here and uh, Renlings, I guess. Not a great beast, but still a lot of pressure. Kind of hate to take the freezing when you have one in hand, but it's not like we have to play it soon. I'm, I'm actually already thinking about that Kargath Prime. <laughs> it's like I really want to freezing trap that, so I'm going to grab extra ones. I'm putting in a lot of heat right now. And we have Eye of Cthune as well. We're putting in a lot of heat. That's a stall turn. I mean, that doesn't matter. He's going face. Man, he's already engaging in a race here. Wow, <laughs> dude. This game just got legit. We're already racing. All right, man. Bring it, dude. Bring it. I don't care. Pack tactics, please. Um, Open the cage is actually pretty good. Snipe's not going to matter as much if we already have a freezing trap, so... The race is on. Man, am I glad I didn't play the uh, armor vendor, huh? Uh, Grimgrod, dude, a year! Oh my god! I'm glad you like the Warlock deck. Yeah, I thought it was really fun, too. Assuming you don't mean the Tiller one, and you mean... Oh, that's scary. Hit face a lot, please. Okay, once is not a lot, but... <laughs> you only had two options. Uh, I guess he needs to hit this, huh? And my, my open the cages didn't go off. I really wish I got a pack tactics. Imagine how good this would be a pack tactics right now. So Mark shot Eye of Cthune. I don't have mana for that. Mark shot Bola shot clears that. I mean, it's a lot of mana to eat though. Let's see what we get. Misdirection? It's <laughs> I mean, it's kind of interesting because he's going to be using face attacks. I wonder. Okay, not now, but later. I'm going to hero power now because he lost his armor up button, so hero power becomes a real win condition at this stage. Because um, I have Cthulhu in his seven. This is two is nine. Like, we're getting close here. Um, he's still got 26 to go, so it sure feels like we should be able to win this race. If he plays minions, they block the Eye of Cthulhu until they get frozen, I guess. Wait, what minion did he get off his straw? He hasn't played it yet, has he? Ooh, shield block sucks. Ugh, I don't like that. Might be harder to win this race now. 16's a mile. I need a jewel. Jewel in his off. Jewel in his off. Explosive trap is utter garbage. Okay, we can use this now, though. Well, let's open. Misdirect, he might hit his own minion here. I see. These are just dead, by the way. We ain't playing these. Well, I guess if we get super desperate, we might have to. Uh, if we think we're dead to an attack, we might have to, but otherwise. Okay, so this is four on a future turn. That means we need to find three damage still. Is he just not going to play any minions? Just playing around the misdirection? Bola shot. Okay. I, I don't think I can play this, right? Because he will misdirect into it. Um, actually, no, that's good. Um, oh, but it gives the Kargath something to attack. But the Kargath gets frozen if that happens. Um, okay. I don't know. This is kind of risky, technically. But um, if he gets misdirected into it and takes the explosive trap damage... That's a lethal breakpoint. That's five instead of four. So maybe. Where's our Harris in this game, by the way? Where's the tracking to get over those stupid bombs? 
<gasps> oh my god. Oh, I wish I had to play this. He can misdirect into this now. He's just dead. Oh, yes! Misdirection for the win! <laughs> I love it. Beautiful. Where are your bombs at now, bro? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Why is this deck so good? Why does it keep winning games? <laughs> I don't think it's good at all. I think we just keep winning games. Those are not... Those are not... Always things that go together. <laughs> I feel evil winning with this stupid deck. Oh, man. Bola shot Hunter putting in work. 